So we're getting close to sort of the uh, end. I guess what I want to do is thank uh, um, all the folks in Wellington who are, you know, joint, you know, th th there's this week going on there called Mindset of Design. And I hope some of the things that we've said and you've said more particularly, James, um, you know, have triggered, you know, some different thinking about it, especially because uh, you've got, uh, you know, a Silicon Valley, San Francisco, West Coast, Left Coast point of view, um, which is, you know, a lot different than what you'd encounter here, um, I think, uh, with people, uh, especially New Zealanders who haven't been offshore. Um, but uh, I, I, I think it's really exciting that, you know, Wellington, the creative capital of New Zealand, is dedicating a week to you know, the idea that you could think about and talk about and meet about and have presenters, you know, talking about the mindset of design. I mean, are you impressed by that? Is that Yeah, I think that's really, that's really amazing. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I, I tend to be impressed with, with New Zealand's, um, many, many aspects of New Zealand, from yeah, the weather no. to the, the, the policies. <laughs> I, know, I know you are. I wish we could get you here sooner than later. Um, but... Um, so uh, I guess there's just in the last few minutes, um, if, if I'll give chance to uh, any other questions, if there's any other questions, uh, but has anything that we've said sort of triggered anything else that you haven't had a chance to say? If not, that's fine, but I've jumped in, by the way, with some of my little stories, you know, I will usually do that. Yeah, totally. I mean, well, I guess I mean, what we were talking about before, so that day, a day of design, a day of design, um, a I'm week sorry. of design. No, a this is design. a week. Yeah, so there's a whole week of programs around design, and it's under the banner "Mindset of Design" or MOD, uh, the acronym. MOD. And you know, there's programs all week. I mean, we're literally one among 40 programs that are so. I'm not sure the exact number that are happening this week uh, in Wellington, and. Um, you know, I, I think many of them are face to face. So yay for that. Um, I wish I could be there. At, at one point, I was thinking I would go there and we do this live with you on a screen, which would have been even stranger if I was moderating a live audience and you were on the screen. Um, That'd be interesting. Yeah, yeah. Um, it would be more fun if we could get you holographically here for one thing. That would, that would be interesting. That would be. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, but you know, all of the you know, technologies obviously changed our lives enormously. Uh, and if you know, COVID had happened in the seventies, you know, what 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 would have been the impact, uh, you know, differently? Totally. Um, we yeah, communication, you know, and companies, and it just would have been you know, absolute mayhem. So in many ways, you know, the fact that you know we have adapted using technology to be quote unquote virtual. Um, and that big companies like yours, Facebook and Google and Microsoft now, um, you know, has said all all workers for Microsoft will be remote permanently. I mean, that's sort of a, a unique approach in this time. Um, so, I mean, yeah, I mean, it, you know, it definitely, you know, changes, you know, how we work uh, you know, and what and work is. Yeah, and I think, you know, my hope is that there will still be time to go to the office and to meet with people in person and yeah. to, to do that again. But the, I think the idea is that this this sort of idea that, like, the work that is that we do, which, are you know, this 40 hours a week in an office um, is just not requisite um, and not required for the, for the work to get done and to get done well. Uh, and I think we are seeing that to some extent. But I think it will. It'll be nice when when there'll be a mix of of both worlds because yeah. I do like getting out of the house and seeing people well, face to face. And the collegial, you know, circumstances and you know the you know the random, you know, things you know people call the water cooler conversations and the uh, you know just you know the the I guess the maybe we'll make those the, virtual too. The, well, I'm no, waiting for I the virtual not. water cooler app. It's gonna. Happen. Oh, I hope not. I hope not. <laughs> There's something that could be over designed and 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 under delivers. Um, yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I it's going to be interesting, you know, how we come back. Oh, here we go. Somebody, Francine, is saying we have a Slack channel called Water Cooler. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> it's happened. Yeah. 
That's good so, though. I mean, it's 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 good yeah. for people to have a place where they can just sort of you know talk about whatever. Yeah. Uh, and I think like the sort of natural side chats and conversations that happen in the office setting are are definitely missing in the new virtual environment. Yeah. Yeah. I did want to say a thing about the mindset of design that you mentioned earlier. Sure. Um, and I, I think that we started to get into this a little bit at the beginning when I was just mentioning as a caveat that like design mm -hmm. thinking different from engineering or research types of thinking. Mm -hmm. uh, I just think design, design thinking, one of the things that I, I, I really appreciate about it is it takes as its, its sort of basis for what is true and, and what's worth doing uh, is, is changing the experience that people have. You know, engineering and, and research are very much about there's this objective world that is studied and understood and, and built upon and follows rules. And, um, and it's very deductive from that, from all, you know, and there's certainly experimental and experiment, empirical stuff that happens in, in both worlds, but in, in the world of design, you know, it's, it's, it's very grounded in, in, as I see it, like phenomenology and this idea that, you know, what is true is, is a person's experience. And like the role of the designer is to understand a small slice of human experience uh, yeah. and in, in, in understanding it, find a way to make it better. Yeah, <laughs> cool. well, lots of ways to make it better. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, I got I got hung up on the word phenomenology when you used it um, because um, uh, there was something I remember learning fifty years ago in university college, Antioch College, uh, called the phenomenology of surfaces, um, cool. and I I have yet to find anything written about it, but it basically had to do with surfaces you know showing you know you know one thing giving an impression but then below the surface it's it's sort of like the iceberg for titanic you know um you know that it was only 10 percent above the water but 90 percent below um you know, that kind of thing that sometimes surfaces are just you know show you very little i i've yet i googled it i don't seem to find anything about it. but i remember somebody said said it and, you know, and maybe uh, it was one of those MSU moments where somebody just made shit up and said, you know, oh, well, that's the phenomenology of surfaces, you know. Um, but I've it's, always wondered it's about It's grandiose. It. it sounds very, yeah. Sounds yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but a, 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 a grandiose sort of concept. Um, uh, so I, 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 I hope, I hope, it's my hope, actually, that there's more design in what happens next uh, you know, in so many different arenas and so many different ways around the world. Uh, and that there's much more, I guess, purposeful, uh, you know, thoughtful determination around, you know, things, whether they be, excuse me, product services or other. Um, and then certainly, you know, politics and, you know, humanity and change. Um, but, uh, you know, I think design is sort of where it starts and design thinking is the process that hopefully leads to a better solution. Um, I guess one of the things I'd said in the words describing, you know, what, what makes for good design thinking is that, um, you know, years from now, somebody goes, boy, that design is truly elegant and it survived the test of time. And so that would, that, that would be something that I think one uh, should strive for if one is designing for the future. Absolutely. I mean, unfortunately, I think that there are some design solutions that will stand the test of time, even if they aren't best for people. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think that's true. Um, yeah. Um, but that's the, you know, the, the multi, you know, uh, disciplinary multi-universal you know kind of thing that goes on is that there's so many possibilities for things and um, so many different points of view a thousand maybe six billion to eight billion points of light um, so yeah but uh, hopefully you know uh, the cream comes to the top and the best designs for our time will be in our time or manifest in our time we definitely yeah. need new designs for a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what are you working on? Last question. Well, uh, are you designing anything in particular that you're passionate about? Yeah, so I'm, I'm currently working in my second year of my master's uh, on a capstone project, and I've just started the discovery process. Um, there's a bunch of different problem spaces. So I actually did like a 
kind of like a question storm. It's like a, or a problem state space brainstorm. So instead of brainstorming solutions to how might we just brainstorming uh, problem spaces to investigate uh, and narrow down on some, some interesting ones to look at. Uh, and so right now I'm going through multiple design sprints in succession uh, and trying out different um, spaces. One of the spaces I was looking at was uh, remote communication. What is it like for us to sort of meet up virtually and how, would, how can that experience be changed? So I did a sprint on that, which was interesting. Uh, I'm now looking on uh, the experience of, of rentals and uh, how people who are renting apartments do or do not make sustainable and green choices uh, in the way that they manage their rental. Uh, and then, yeah, you after mean, that, you, mean, we'll... you mean, mean not not uh, um, tenants, you mean, um, you know, people who own Sorry, rental properties. landlords and tenants, both, landlords both, and both, tenants. both, both okay. parties involved. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, and yeah, I'll be doing another just for something else uh, in a week after. So for this, I mean, the way that I'm, you know, for our capstone, we have a lot of freedom uh, in how we plan our process. And we do have a really long time which is great. Um, but what that allows me to do as a designer on it is, you know, to come up with a bunch of problem spaces, uh, spend multiple design sprints working in them, and then sort of compare across those different problem spaces and see which one might be the most fruitful. Cool. Cool. And is there anything that you're excited about uh, as sort of the, the, I guess, Q4 and the year comes to a close? And, I, you know, at least, uh, you know, in our part of the world, you know, we head to the summer holidays uh, with the operative word being summer. Uh, you know, you're heading towards the end of the year and the holidays. Is, is there anything that's sort of, I guess, the arbitrary calendar of a new year sort of portends? I mean, the biggest thing going on right now, you know, is, there's a lot of lot of stuff in politics going on at the moment. <laughs> yes, I know. It's only three weeks so that, from, that, that to, from tomorrow here. <laughs> Yeah. Well, our election is actually three days from, or four, uh, what is it? Three days from Wednesday. And the U.S. election is three weeks from Tuesday this week. And so, yeah, there's going to be a lot of, I guess, determinations around, you know, what, what happens. It's hard to imagine what the outcome will be and then whether it will be an outcome or whether it will go to court and controversy, you know, so... Just hope for very clear results. Yes, we're hoping for very clear results. I certainly am. Uh, I actually just got invited to the New Zealand election party here uh, for the United States. And there'll be 200 people, 100 Americans wanting 99%, I'm sure, if not 100%, the, the clear results that you and I would like. And uh, the other 100 being New Zealanders who've either been to the States or care about the States uh, and want to be with other Americans uh, when the election results come in. So um, I just literally booked my flight up to Auckland uh, to go to the uh, American Chamber in New Zealand. To, um, wow. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Election result party. So. Well, I'm uh, sure we'll be in touch that night. Well, yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. I the last one I was in Wellington actually at the U.S. Embassy's uh, get together and everybody was devastated. Um, so, uh, I'm, I don't want to see that result again. Yeah. 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 Selection yeah. Was. I know you've lived through it for four years. I know. Yeah. yeah. I, but the only good news, James, is you've been in California. Uh, relatively insulated. Yeah. As yeah. Much as and, one, yeah. and San Francisco, uh, you know, it was always, and will always be, you know, not like anywhere else in America. It's more like Sydney and Singapore, perhaps, than it is like any other city on the main continental United States. So, all right. Well, we believe it or not, we've gone ninety minutes. <laughs> Time flies when you're having fun, or not. <laughs> A nice conversation. Yeah, I've enjoyed it. Yeah, um, this was this was fun, James. So we got let's do this again without eleven people listening in on us. <laughs> sounds good. Sounds good. <laughs> Hopefully they hey, uh, enjoyed you. it as well. Yes, I hope everybody who was here, thank you. You're getting some response. Good tip. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. It's been interesting. Thank you all for, all for coming. And thanks a lot for the session. A lot of questions answered. Great. And I hope it's a great week down in Wellington. I wish I could be there this week. I won't be there, unfortunately, for, for another few weeks. Um, but uh, uh, everybody uh, who's been online with us, go well in Wellington. <laughs>